beautifuls. We're at the airport waiting to go to Mexico. We made it two hours early. That's unusual for me because I'm always running late. I got my Chick-fil-A and I got ketchup because ketchup in Mexico tastes kind of funny and a little weird thing about me is I love ketchup. I put it on everything. I'm a ketchup stealer. It's almost time to board. We made it on the plane. Now it's time to take a nap. Super duper tired. So we finally made it to Mexico. I am so annoyed. I have a story to tell you guys. So as we were at the airport, um, sorry it's kind of bumpy. Um, the roads are kind of crazy. We're going up the mountains. But when we first got to um, customs, we went through the line and out of everybody, it had to be us, right? Um, when you press the button at customs, it's either green and you just walk straight through or red. If it's red, then they search your luggage and stuff. So of course, when it was our turn, we pressed the button and it was red. So to start off, I mean, our luggage and everything looks normal except for this box. Let me show you guys. Phantom 4. So we just ordered the Phantom 4 in and we haven't used it yet. Um, this is the first trip that we're gonna be using it. So we really didn't prepare, actually know how to use it or anything yet. Um, but we didn't buy a case for it yet. We just used the case that it came with. So it's obvious what it is. So I'm pretty sure that's why it turned red. And so they were giving us a hard time um, saying that it exceeded the amount that we can bring into the country. Well, you know what? Of course it exceeded the amount with everything that we brought, like our luggage, my purse that I got right here from the outlet mall, my purse that I have right here. I have a laptop in my beach bag. We have our phones. He has his watch. Of course it exceeds it, but they didn't count any of that. They just counted the Phantom, obviously, because it was an obvious item. So since it exceeded $1,000, which was $500 per person, the limit added together is 1,000. So we paid like tax on it, which was really only $33 American money, but still it really annoyed me because out of everyone, they had to just pick us just because the box was obvious, trying to give us a hard time. And of course we weren't gonna tip the guy either, like to get away with it. I'd rather pay the $33 than to tip the guy to make some money off of Phantom. So that was like a rough start to our trip. Plus, the guy really didn't know how to speak English either. So the whole time I was saying, so where do I pay? Just take me to the place where I could pay the $33. And he like didn't know what was going on even though he was giving us a hard time. The whole time I was like, uh, okay, so we'll pay the money, just where do we pay? So sorry, I kind of sound annoyed. I am annoyed, but it was a rough start to our trip, but hopefully all else is good. Open sesame. Hotel Musai. Kings and Queens. Let's go check out our room. So we just got to the hotel. I opened the door and I'm like, oh my God, it's amazing. We're staying at Hotel Mosai and I absolutely love it here. Let me show you guys and give you guys a tour. First, when you walk in, you see this big giant mirror by the door. So you can check out the outfit that you're wearing for the day right before you leave. You walk in. And of course this, I'm like, what is this? It's a fridge where the mini bar is. You got your coffee machine. Oh, Pringles! So snacks. And let's check out over here. We have this nice little desk. It says relax. 
and next to that we have a nice couch area for two. Ooh, they even gave us some chocolate. And moving on, we have our bed, the TV, red fancy chair. This hotel has an iPad for menus. They're very advanced on technology. Here we have light settings and curtain settings. So here is the mood setting, is what they call it. And we have curtains. And it comes with wired speakers. So whenever you pick a certain mood, um, there's music that comes on. All right, let's open the curtain to see what happens. <gasps> Ooh, look at that. Let there be light. Take you guys outside in a minute. So over here we have our bathroom area. Nice little red couch. Let me turn the light here. Let's see. Let's do. Let some light in. So I love this area. Look at this big giant mirror. And we're gonna come over here. We're gonna press this button. Look at that. It turns on. This is a great makeup mirror. And on this side we have the regular mirror, followed by these wardrobes. I think you just press it here. There you go. And then voila. Say this one's just your closet. It has flip-flops, beach bag. Here we have a shower. I love this one as well here. And I love how it has this so I can sit because sometimes I get super lazy in the shower. This was actually quite funny. This is the toilet with my favorite part. Something to wash your butt with. Okay, so now it's time to go outside, so I got to, let's see, how do you remove the shear? I think it's right here. There it goes. And let's go outside. Oh, oh, this way. Check out this, that's the jacuzzi. I'm gonna be in that later. And this is our ocean view. There's a pool here. And over here is mountains and some greenery. It's a corner suite, so it goes all the way around. We also have a chair that I can lay out on with a towel. To sum it up, I love it here so far. It's only been like 30 minutes, but everything, the environment, it makes me feel great. I feel like a princess here, which I am. So now I'm just getting ready. I just did my face and now I'm about to recurl my hair because it's no longer curled and we're going to go eat dinner at an Italian restaurant tonight because all of the other places require reservations and we didn't book them obviously because we got here today but we'll try out the steakhouse and the sushi place tomorrow on the following day. So this is my outfit for tonight. My boyfriend's gonna say that it looks like a tablecloth, but I don't care. I like my maxi dresses, especially for beachy places. So I just got done getting ready and it's raining now. That's why nobody's down there. I hope it doesn't rain the rest of the time that we're here. I'd be pretty sad. So before we leave, I'm gonna check myself out with this big giant mirror. That's what it's there for. So last minute check. All right, good to go. So we're waiting for the trolley to come pick us up, but I wanted to show you guys, look at this amazing hotel entrance. This is the emblem and look at that view. Super awesome. I'm excited to go hiking because they have that activity here. So it turns out that the Italian restaurant is actually outside. It's covered, but I didn't want to risk um, eating there and it rains really hard and then we're stuck there outside. So we walked by um, the Mexican place and 
They only take reservations, but luckily they were able to squeeze us in. We caught a couple minutes of the sun before it was setting and it was beautiful. Every time I look at the menu here, I kind of freak out for a moment because I think that it's in US dollars, but it's actually in pesos. And I'm like, oh my God, that's expensive for that meal, but it's really not. You see what I mean? That's expensive, but it's really not because it's in pesos. They brought out my worst enemy, carbs and butter. And this place has three different kind of butters, look. just finished dinner and it's now time for dessert. Hmm, what to get, what to get. Those are the tough choices. I'm getting sleepy so we got a latte and a cappuccino. Now we have dessert. Ooh, look at that. We just finished dinner and in order to get to our hotel we have to cross a sky bridge and the view is absolutely amazing. But we definitely probably should have taken the trolley back instead of walking because we're kind of lost right now, don't know where we're at and it's dark. Ooh, we found a pole. So I'm out of breath. We really should have taken the trolley back to the hotel because I went up probably like 10 flights of stairs just to get to this hotel. <gasps> I don't know what this is, but it's really pretty. It's an orange tree. I wonder if the leaves are real. Let's see. Nope, fake leaves, but super pretty. So this is the rooftop pool at Hotel Masai. It is gorgeous, even at nighttime. Yay, we made it back. Put a chair and curtains and wait for it to open. So I know you're not supposed to go swimming after you eat, but there's a jacuzzi inside of our hotel room. So that's what we're gonna do. Plus, I had $80 credit from the hotel and didn't know what to buy, so I bought this bathing suit. I just turned on the jacuzzi and I'm waiting for the water to get hot before we step in. And this is the view at night. The ocean is right there, but it's so dark you can't see it. It's really relaxing in here. I'm really enjoying myself on this vacation. I'm about to shower after the hot tub. It's 11.25 p.m. But I'm kind of hungry, so I'm looking at the menu to see what to order as a midnight snack. I love this hotel because this iPad does everything. Every hotel should have this. So I decided that we're gonna get the steak tacos for him. I love how you click on it and there's a big giant picture. It says what's in it and you just click add to shopping. I know the price is not $220 for steak tacos. Um, it's in pesos, so it's really not that much. Add to shopping cart. And I need to go back because I need one more for myself. And we're gonna try this burger. So I just got out of the shower and luckily I did because room service came and it came on a cute little cart. Here we have the steak tacos with the side of guac and bacon burger and a pretty little flower. Isn't it cute? Good morning, I'm on the way up the rooftop to check out the sunrise. Hopefully I make it, woke up kind of late. It's about 7.32 right now. My son comes up at 7.45. Follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at Life of Princess T. Remember the O and F is actually a zero. Other than that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to be a part of this beautiful family. Always remember to smile because you're beautiful. Bye, beautifuls. Love you guys.